Tornado debris gets picked up on Selma City streets, Selma's police chief is reinstated, and new murals go up at area schools. That and more in this week's edition of the Selma Sun Spotlight, Selma Dallas County's only local newscast. I'm Cindy Fisher, publisher of the Selma Sun. And I'm Todd Prater, staff writer for the Selma Sun. Here are this week's top stories. After five weeks, the city has federal funding for tornado debris removal and the state has signed a contract to get the trucks mobilized. So now the job of picking up the piles of debris left by the January 12 EF2 tornado is underway. The Alabama Department of Transportation has contracted with Looks Great Incorporated to handle the actual tornado cleanup, the debris cleanup. Debris Tech will handle the monitoring. These are the same companies that picked up the debris after Hurricane Zeta. FEMA will reimburse the state 100% for the debris removal performed Within the 30-day period, Dallas County Engineer Heath Sexton says the same two companies are contracted for cleanup in the unincorporated areas of the Dallas County. And the county will also get that same 100% reimbursement if the work is done within the 30-day period between February 17 through March 18. It's so good to see that getting picked up. It's good Finally. to see it cleaned up. Yeah, we're getting now back we to can normal. move on. Amen. The Selma City Council restored Police Chief Kenta Fulford to his job after a disciplinary hearing Tuesday. Selma Mayor James Perkins placed Fulford on administrative leave on January 25th because he said Fulford did not return to the city quick enough from an out-of-town training class when a tornado struck the city on January 12th. The police chief is appointed by the city council, but he reports to the mayor. The city council held an open disciplinary hearing on Tuesday to formally hear Perkins's charges and Fulford's defense, and then they voted to reinstate him. During that last month, Tommy Reese, who has 30 years of law enforcement experience, served as interim chief. Drug-free communities of Dallas County and Arts Revive teamed up with some talented students to create murals that remind students to avoid addictive substances. The murals adorn the walls at two of the county schools, Keith High and Southside High, and two city schools, R.B. Hudson and Selma High School. Jaria Martin, executive director of Drug Free Communities of Dallas County, says that most of the work was done by the students. Arch Revive executive director Becky Youngblood brought in Arch Revive mural specialist Winfred Hawkins, who digitized the sketches and added color. And he projected the images onto the walls and the kids basically traced them and then filled in the colors like a big paint by number project. Youngblood said that Hawkins worked with the kids in the schools for at least two weeks. And Jaria said that he was a lifesaver helping her with that too. So. Oh, I bet it looks great. I can't, I wait, can't to wait to see, see it. I can't wait to see him live, yeah. A new women's health clinic has opened at 108 Broad Street. Nurse practitioner Courtney Carter Abrams officially opened Queen City Women's Health with a ribbon cutting on February 17th. Abrams has been a nurse practitioner in Selma for seven years at Vaughn OBGYN Associates. The clinic offers women's health services like STD testing, birth control, annual exams, pap smears, and breast exams. Abrams says they see OB patients up to 37 weeks of gestation and Fridays they do weight loss. You can call the clinic at 334-526-2887 to make an appointment. Be watching for an interview with Abrams on the Selma Sun and the Black Belt News Network on our social media and websites around March 1st. It's gonna be a good interview. Yes, I'm very right. interested to see what she's doing. Me too, it'll be exciting. And it's good to bring women's health uh, very localized here in Selma. Well, thank you for joining us for this week's edition of the Selma Sun Spotlight. Follow and subscribe to us at our Facebook, Instagram, YouTube, and TikTok channels. See you next week. The Rural Health Medical Program has been a beacon in the state of Alabama for over 40 plus years. We are one of 17 community health centers across the state. We sit across six counties in the Black Belt region of Alabama. We provide preventative and primary health care services to all individuals, regardless of their ability to pay. For more information on how you can become a member of our team or to receive services from the Rural Health Medical Program, give us a call at 
736-7629.